In Gaia's upcoming version 1.205, we are going to introduce a few new ways for you to uh, use nodes and portals in a far more efficient way. So here I have a node that's exposing a bunch of portals. It's connected to a bunch of things. Now all I have to do is select a node and press C and that brings up the connect menu. Now I can hit one of the input ports. Uh, so let's say I want to connect the input node or the input port. It gives me a list of all the available portals in this uh, scene and then I can just go connect to this or that or connect to mirror map here and it just gets connected now if i want to disconnect something i can just press x and then i can choose what um, port to disconnect and it's showing me what the port name is and what node it's connected to and the direction um, so these are input nodes or input ports these are output ports and also these are the portals which i can turn back into normal connections so uh, let me create a new node just creating legs and so rather than dragging a line and then putting it somewhere um, so which you have to do all the time so instead if you don't want to lose your place in the graph or don't want to switch to some other location in the graph you just press C and then you choose uh, if you want to convert something to a portal like I want to do that I actually want the lakes output to be a portal so I'll click that that's now a portal and then C again input and this time I want it to consume snowfall. So there, now that's coming in and this is connected and it just press X and I can then disconnect it. Press this again, input, connect back to snowfall or something else. So that should save you a lot of trouble from having to find nodes and connect them. Um, uh, I highly recommend that you uh, start naming your nodes if you already aren't. Um, that's a great way to find things. Uh, you can give them meaningful names or just something you might remember uh, for the purpose that they serve. And then that way you can quickly move around and connect things without having to travel across the graph. Now, speaking of traveling, there's another thing we're going to add. So once you have um, a, a lot of nodes like this thing, this is uh, a really large graph. There are lots of different pieces across several different tabs. And when you use portals, one of the problems is you need to find where they are. You may not always remember where they are. Um, so let's say if I go back to our Hot Springs node and uh, these outputs are connected to a bunch of things. If I just press the N key, it gives me the navigation menu for this node. And it's telling me what nodes, what output is connected to. So the Hot Springs main output is consumed by these two nodes. The lakes output is consumed by these nodes. And so if I want to go to the all water node, all I have to do is press this. It'll take me to wherever that node is. And from here, I can press N again and go to the lakes. And then from here, I can go to something else. And so this is a great way for you to quickly navigate to different nodes without having to worry about where they are, or how they're connected.